hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch nfl 23 game on your windows computer or if you're facing crashing and freezing issue now the first step is to restart your computer now do not ignore this step sometimes a simple restart takes care of the problem so restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to delete the save game file now before you delete the save game file let me inform you that you will lose the game progress so if you want delete the save game file and then launch the game now for this open file explorer go to documents now over here you will find nfl23 folder make a right click and then click on delete now launch the game now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver now this is very important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia on nvidia website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search scroll down over here you can see geforce game ready driver this is the latest one right now so click on get download click on download now now once the download is complete run the exe file and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next now let the installation complete now after the installation your driver should be up to date now the next step is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you're running the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse Now go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed if the game is installed in c drive open c drive if you bought the game on steam then open program files x86 now open steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder you will find the game over here in my case i bought the game on origin so if you bought the game on origin again you can open program files or program files you can find it under ea games or electronic art to find the game or you might find it under program files x86 i think it's here if you bought the game on origin and if it is in c drive now in my case i've installed the game in e drive so open the game folder now select the game exe file now click on add now once the game is added over here click on options select high performance and then click on save now if you use playing the trial version you can select this also and click on add again click on option select high performance then click on save now launch the game now the next step is to run the game as an administrator now for this for steam users go to the game installation folder so go to steam make a right click on nfl 23 i don't have nfl 23 on steam i have it on origin so make a right click I'm showing with another game make a right click on the NFL 23 and then click on manage then click on browse local file it will straight away take you to the game installation folder and for origin users go to the game installation folder so basically you have to go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder now select the game exe file make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok do the same thing with trial now launch the game from here so make a double click on the game and then launch the game from the game installation folder now the next step is to try windows 8 compatibility mo mode again go to the game installation folder open the game folder make a right click on the game select properties this time go to compatibility and then put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for and select windows 8 from the list click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game now the next step is to if you are able to launch the game then switch to direct x 11 if it is set to direct x 12 then you can set it to 11 if it is already set to 11 then you can select 
12. So try launching with DirectX first. If that does not work, you can try DirectX 12. So launch the game first. Now go to settings and then go to graphics. Now over here you can see direct X version. If this is set to 12, select 11. Now if this is set to 11, then select 12. And then apply the changes. So click on yes. And then restart the game. So make sure that you restart the game. And then check. Now the next step is to disconnect all external devices which you are not using. So if you have additional controller connected to the computer if you have any usb devices connected which you are not using disconnect all external devices and then launch the game also if you are using the controller then first of all unplug the controller launch the game once you are in the game then you connect your controller now the next step is to change the priority to real time for the game for this launch the game now once the game is up and running Make a right click on the start menu. You can press Alt tab, then open Task Manager. So make a right click on the start menu, then click on Task Manager. Now, under process, you will find your game exe over here. So here you can see the game running. Make a right click and then click on click on go to details and then Make a right click on the Madden 23 EXE and then set priority to real time or you can select high or real time and then click on change priority. Now keep playing the game. Now the next step is to allow the game EXE file to your antivirus program or Windows security. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game EXE file to your antivirus program. If you are using Windows security, then go to the start menu. Click on settings. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security. If you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security. Now click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Now click on manage a ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder once again. Open the game folder. Select the game exe file and then click on open. Now once the game is added, now again click on add and load app, browse all apps, select the trial exe file as well. Now once the game is added over here, now launch the game. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings. Click on allow another app. Now click on browse. Again go to the game installation folder. And then open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Then click on open. Now click on add. In my case this is already added. Now once the game is added, now launch the game. Again click on browse. Select the trial version as well. Again click on add. In my case, this is already added. Once added, click on OK and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download x86 and x64 version. So download both x86 and x64 and then run both the exe file. Click on repair or install. So you might see the repair option or you might see install option. So click on install or repair whatever you see. Run the second file as well. Again if you see the repair option click on repair. If you see the install option click on install. Click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Now make sure both the installation are complete first and then restart your computer and then launch the game. So one is complete, make sure both are complete.
now once done now you will see the restart option restart click on restart and then restart your computer and then launch the game make sure that you restart your computer after this next step is to disable overlay in origin or steam if you have the game on steam go to steam make a right click on the game and um, this is just an example i don't have the game on steam go to properties and then uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game so you have to make a right click on the nfl 23 and then go to properties and uncheck the box over here for steam users go to library and then click on the game now click on settings go to game properties and uncheck the box which says enable origin in game for madden nfl 23 now click on save now launch the game also close all the overlay application so if you have discord running on the computer close discord so if you have discord running close discord now if you have geforce experience running close geforce experience so close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner running on the computer close msi afterburner if you have revert tuner running close revert tuner so close all the overclocking application also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here first then click on disable all in my case i already did it that's why it's grayed out in your case it would be highlighted so put a check over here first and then click on disable all then click on apply okay and then you will see the restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also close all the background application so make sure only the steam and the game running or make sure only this uh, origin and the game is running rest close everything close all the browser and then launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is important so go to the start menu then click on settings click on windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to repair the game in origin or steam if you bought the game on steam go to steam make a right click on the game this is just an example properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game on steam click on the game and then go to this settings and then click on repair after the repair launch the game next step is to try window mode so lower down graphic settings for this launch the game first now go to settings then go to graphics now lower down the resolution now if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p now if this is set to 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more so try to lower down the resolution and then check now also select window mode so switch to window mode and turn off this also set the frame rate to auto or you can even lock the fps to 60 or 30 and then check now for high dynamic range set it to auto turn off the vsync turn it off now for 3d grass turn it off bloom also you can turn it off and rest you can set it to auto for this quality you can set it to medium or low and then check now apply the settings click on yes now restart the game so make sure that you restart the game restart the game and then check now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so make a right click on the game go to library click on the settings and then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder then restart your computer and after the system restart reinstall the game to different drive so if you have another ssd or hdd try installing the game to different drive and then check so one of the steps should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel